Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to install SQL Server 2019 on Windows 11 with full stuff. Okay, so now let's get started. Open browser and you type in the search box in SQL Server 2019 in the search result. You click on the first link. It will open the Microsoft.com website. You click on download link on the menu. It will direct you to the page where you are able to download the file for SQL Server. We have some file for cloud and also there are some the special edition. We have for developer and express version. I will go ahead to download the version for the developer because it contains the full feature of the SQL Server 2019. Click on Setup File. I will select Basic Option. Click on Accept button. I can change the location to install the SQL Server. Install button. And then it will download the package for SQL Server from Internet. And then install on my PC. Installation is done. So now we have just completely installed an instant SQL Server on this PC. So now I will install a management tool to work with the SQL Server on this PC. It will open the SQL Server Management Studio tool. You go ahead to take a look into download app MS session. We have the hyperlink download SQL Server Management Studio, the current version. 18.9.1 and while waiting for the file download from internet you can take a look into the content on this page click, click on setup file we have the download from internet install button yeah we have that install the management tool for SQL server successfully let's close this one because we have that complete everything for installation click on start button on program and you see here we have Microsoft Server, SQL, yeah, and also the SQL Server tool, 18, yeah. Right click on the tool and more, go to open file location. And this one is the shortcut. I will send it to the desktop for open it easier in the future. Click on it to open the management studio tool. We accept into the SQL Server. By using the window authentication mode, you can see on the left hand side, we have some the default database in the object explorer. Because for now, we are locked in the SQL server by using the window authentication mode. I want to use some the SA account, system admin account to get access. So how to do it? You see here. We change the mode in authentication in SQL Server authentication, but we don't know the password to access for the SIA account. Let's log in with the window authentication again. You click on the security option, log in, and you see the SIA account by default it was disabled. So I will guide you how to enable it again to get access by using the SA account. On login properties for SA account, you see here we have the password and confirm password. Let's go ahead to change it to another password. To confirm password, the same for password. I will uncheck the enforce password policy. We can see the server role, the user mapping, the, yeah, and the status. By default, the permission to connect to the database engine is already current, but for the login, you see here, it already disabled. I will select enable option. Okay button. And you see for now, the SA account has been reactive. I will disable it and try to connect it again with the SQL Server authentication. SA and provide the password. We have the chain. But you see here, we still cannot log into the SQL Server instance on this PC. 
that right with the window authentication mode. Right click on the server name, property, and you go to the security. You take look into the server authentication. There are two options. Log in with the window authentication mode, and the second option will be the SQL Server and also window authentication mode. Click on OK button. So here you have to reset the PC or even you have to reset the service of the SQL Server on the PC in order to apply the new updates for the account. Okay, let me try with it first. FA and password. Connect. Yeah, you still not connect because the new chain still not apply for the uh, FA account. Right click on the start button. You type in the service.msc. It will open up the services on this PC. You scroll it down and take a look into the SQL Server service on this PC. Yeah, we have the instance of the SQL Server service you're running. You take a look into the status you're running. Yeah, and you right click on it, restart option. And then the service of SQL Server on this PC be restart. Connect again. Yeah. And you see, for now, we are able to connect into the SQL Server instant by using the SA account. Yeah. I will have a quick configuration. Tune options. And then go to designers. I will uncheck the option to prevent saving changes that require table recreation. I want to uncheck this option to prevent some issue after I update some config for the table later on. I will try to create a new database and then create a table here for that thing. I will have ID, name, email. I will change the ID to the primary key. The data type will be integer. And Pacha and and Pacha. Set it up. The table it users. Refresh the table. Yeah, you see we have a table has been created. I edit it and I will try to enter some value into the table. Yeah. Right click and select top 1000 row. Yeah. So you see here we have the two record displaying on my screen. Okay. Disconnect and connect it again by using the SA account. Okay. And I hope this video will have fun for you. After you finish this video, you know how to install SQL Server 2019 on Windows 11. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.